Oh hi, my name is Jessica Lyon, project manager of the Phoenix Firestorm project, and I'm not afraid to admit that I suck at building. But the Firestorm viewer has all kinds of little gem features related to building that you may not know about. Functionality that novices and experts alike will benefit from. So I'm going to attempt to teach and demonstrate some of that functionality today. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. Tired of the default plywood look on all your newly created prims? You can set a custom texture to newly created prims by going to Preferences, Firestorm, Build One tab. Click on the texture box and select a texture from your inventory, preferably one not too high of a resolution. And now, every newly created prim you create will have that texture applied by default. You can change the default size of newly created prims as well as other prim attributes like phantom, physical, or temporary, color, etc. You can also change the next owner permissions here too. You can also have an inventory item placed in every newly created prim, like a note card or a landmark. Enable Embed an Item into New Prim option, and then drag the item you want included from your inventory into this area in Preferences. Now, all newly created prims you create will automatically have that item inside them. Great for store owners wanting to include a landmark or note card inside of everything. In the build panel, there are these up and down arrows for changing position, size, rotation, and various other things. Most people click on the arrows, but did you know you can also use your mouse scroll wheel as well? While hovering over the spinner you want to change, move your mouse scroll wheel to change the second decimal place. Holding the Alt key will change the first, Control will change the third, and Shift will change the fourth decimal place. If there are too many decimal places for your taste, you can change that by clicking on the right arrow next to the Snap option. Ever wonder what the C and P buttons here do? That stands for Copy and Paste, and it lets you quickly transfer individual prim parameters from one object to another. So if you want to make this prim size the same as that one, select the object I want and click the C button, then select the object I want to change and click the P button. This works for position, size, and rotation, but if you want to copy all the parameters of a prim, you can do that with this copy and paste button here. Instead of dragging an, an item from your inventory and then having to figure out where you put it, press Ctrl-3 first to open the build menu and then res it, and it'll automatically be selected. Getting prims lined up just right can be a very tedious and time-consuming task. Fortunately for us, a gentleman by the name of Carl Fizz developed a tool called the Alignment Tool. Most third-party viewers have this by now. To use it, select the prims you want to align. Get my camera right. Click on the Align option here, and this will create a different set of arrows than what you're used to seeing. A double arrow indicates that if I click this, it's going to align all the prims against the farthest prim from the arrow. So if I click it, they all get lined up this way. But if I hold my shift key down, it turns to a single arrow, and that indicates that if I click it, it's going to align all the tools, all the objects together. If I click that, and then I click on the red one here, I have a mathematically perfectly aligned floor. Oops, I screwed up. That's okay. As long as I'm still selecting it, I can press Control or Command Z and it will undo my mistake. For today's final tip, I'm going to talk a little bit about a function called ZDrop and ZTake. Very few people actually know about this, but it's extremely handy if you package things frequently. Uh, so ZDrop uh, command transfers items from your inventory to a res prim without the need to wait for the um, contents of that prim to load. It's a lot more reliable than dragging items from an, from an inventory folder into the object. So first, we'll just create a, an object here, and we'll create a folder. Let's call it new folder, we'll just call it ASDF. And in that folder, we will have all kinds of new stuff. It doesn't matter, it could be tons of stuff. Up to, I think a prim can hold 99 items, I'm not sure. So first thing you're gonna do is copy the key of the object, so copy keys, open up nearby chat, and you're going to do Z drop on, and then paste the UUID of that prim, and then the name of the folder, ASDF, hit enter, and now if I open up the contents, you'll see it's automatically dropping the contents of this folder into this prim. 
it will almost never fail. It's very useful. And then there is the Z take command, which is possibly even cooler. Select the objects you'd like to have put into a folder. It's got to be, the folder has to be a root folder from your inventory though. So we'll save this folder here. You select the objects that you want. You do Z take on and then the name of the folder. Hit enter and watch this magic. The objects will automatically start loading up into my inventory. Very, very cool. But you have to remember to turn it off because if you don't, every new object you create will be taken back to that folder again. So to turn it off, Z take off. Building can be a very fun and rewarding thing to do in Second Life in virtual worlds, but if you're anything like me, it can also be a source of frustration. Lucky for us, there's a fantastic resource out there called Builder's Brewery. They've been around since 2008. They have two beautiful regions in Second Life. A sandbox, a group of over 28,000 people, loads of resources, freebies, and most importantly, classes that teach building, scripting, texturing, and a plethora of other topics. Like us, they're all about teaching and helping folks, so it's a great pleasure for me to recommend them for you. Their website and a story to their in-world location is included in the description below. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel or website to get updates on our latest news and videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.